They are literally programming a new herd that obeys commands, like move on command. Oh, okay. We have a, we have an epidemic that is happening in the content space right now, which not enough people are talking about this. And uh, let's let's start here with uh, with this story from Dexerto, where a YouTuber has been arrested trying to get clicks for throwing buckets of poo at train passengers. Okay, this is a uh, kid overseas who is um, been inspired by a lot of the antics by other YouTubers and Twitch streamers, as he's uh, he's in Belgium. Is, is Ya Nike is his name for throwing buckets of diverse substances, including paint, feces, and food on bus metro passengers in Brussels for his channel. And he's obviously been arrested for this. But this is a thing that is happening along in the uh, in the YouTube space, the Twitch space, to where not only are you seeing instances like this, but um, George, you brought up this one down in Houston that took place uh, back towards the tail end of uh, end of October and November yeah. of this young 19 year old kid who was going around and punching people on the back of their heads uh, for, for clicks on the video. He was sucker punching people. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea was, hey man, I want the clicks. Well now, guess what? He's been charged with assault and right. aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon because he's trying to get the clicks, man. Um, and he's going to spend uh, anywhere from two to five years in Huntsville. So in Texas, they don't. I mean, you could see what he looked like in the news the day after. It's like going to the police station. You know, you, you can tell that the police officers slammed the brakes several times and he pancaked because he did not. They weren't happy. It's like you see the guy who was throwing the poo in Belgium. I'm like, yeah, I was watching some of it. It's like, did they think it was performance art? Like, they're so polite. Do we sit here and yell and then smile? Right. But uh, in Texas, if he, you know, the second he would start to start to throw that swing, he's not going to go viral. He's going to go horizontal. Uh, I mean, end up hogtied. You're 100 percent right. 100 percent right. Well, you know what I really didn't like about him is he he went uh, he went into a park, one specific area of the park where it was all mostly elderly. Like he didn't go. Okay, I'm going to go over here where. You know, all the jocks are, all the players are, and like tap him because you know they would have knocked him out. Of course. And but it's like he he gave this apology. He's like, Well, I didn't mean to hurt anybody, just for views. Well, and, and that's the thing. It's all about it's all about the views, it's all about them clicks, it's all about that clout. And that's the saddest thing about this. Now, we've talked about this type of uh YouTuber or Twitch streamer many, many times uh on on the channel. Um, and speaking of kick, there's a kick streamer named, uh, Johnny Somali, who was, he was put out uh, a couple times, uh, arrested while in Japan. He was, uh, saying all sorts of stupid things to Japanese people, uh, Fukushima. right. Going in and, uh, trespassing on, on private property. And he has been charged finally. Uh, he had been in court for this after being arrested. And I got to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed with with uh, the sentencing here, as he was only fined uh, just over just under fourteen hundred dollars uh, yeah. for his crimes in Japan. Which I got to be honest, like if you really think about it, when it comes That's to awesome. this this little fuckface, yeah, fourteen hundred dollars for the amount of promotion, the free promotion that he's got for this. Like that's just a business investment. Yeah, but you, you, the thing is, is the Japanese don't mess around. I mean, their court system, it is nowhere, anywhere near ours. That to them was his slap on the wrist. There is no other. He does it again, he's going to jail and it's not, you know, get your three meals a day and watch cable TV. It's serious. Because the first time they let him go, because he would go up into the construction sites and scream Fukushima, trying to you know harass people about the the nuclear accident. And they're like, okay, this is a nutty guy, so they let him go. This time they charged him. The third time, there's no fine. It's just book him. I I really don't have much much sympathy at all for these no. people at all. Uh, um, that you know these are young stupid kids who are highly impressionable. They mm -hmm. see. You know, they see one of these guys uh, do this. They see them pop off. They see them go viral, and then Mitzi. they want to. They want to imitate it, right? You remember um, Mitzi? 
What, uh, the name vaguely. Mitzi, that 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 nut job who went on Piers Morgan after uh, he was busted. He would break into people's homes and he was videotaping it, where he would walk right in. You know, my dad's like, "Who the hell are you?" You know, right. he walked into a room where it was someone's baby in the carriage. Now, yeah. come on, that 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 that's. Or he would hit people, push people off of. Uh, Ledges. He was the other one. He would walk up to because he was black. He'd walk up to white girls. He's like, "Do you want to die?" Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It's like, do you want to die? Do you want me to? I'm gonna murder you. Do you want me to die? Yeah. It was like, yeah, like that's that's. I mean, that it makes you wonder. Especially, there's video proof of these people doing it. Some of them oh, yeah. are doing it live. Some of them are recording it for YouTube, and then they put it up there. When will the book be thrown at these people? And it, it needs to happen sooner than later. An example needs to be made. And, and you wait for a judge, whether that's in Japan or the United States, to make an example, send, this, send these kids to jail, and then shows like ours can talk about it and, and say, like, look at this. Like, look at it and see, see what's going to happen to you when you act a fool. You fuck around, you're going to find out. Right. And, and that, that example needs to be set. The thing is, is what I'm... The thing is, is it's their fault. It's their problem. Unfortunately, they've been programmed that way. It's like you can have a problem in life where it goes, okay, I didn't create this, but it's his responsibility. They've been programmed to be like this new generation. So I was talking about earlier. We don't have an education system anymore where they're teaching critical thinking or civics. They are literally programming a new herd that obeys commands, like move on command. Oh, okay, you're gonna win a participation trophy. They're not teaching them how to win, they're teaching them how to get a dopamine rush, how right. to get that entitlement. Why? Because to teach how to win means you have to teach how to work, which also means you're gonna have to teach the kid how to accept losing, because in life, you yeah, go up and down. But when you talk to some of these teachers, they're like, you can't teach them about losing. That hurts, that's painful, those are feelings. Those good. You gotta take care of them. So you end up with the Mitzi. Now, what's going to end up happening to people like Mitzi is they're going to run into somebody who's going to break into somebody's home, and they're going to blow them away. And then you're going to have the mother, he was just playing the game. You can't break into people's homes. Either you right. didn't raise him right, or you didn't punish him enough, or you didn't give him the right tools. And the school, it, it, many people are going to lose, but it will set the stage. For sure. And I think that... There needs to, okay, <laughs> I, I, you know what would be a really, really great, great punishment? Mm -hmm. If a judge sent an influencer to jail and part of them going to jail was they had to vlog their experience. Mm -hmm. That'd be really interesting. Like, you want to be an influencer? Congratulations. You're influencing from jail. I need you to talk about how scared you are on a day-to-day -day basis. I need you to show the meals that you get. I need you to show the shanks that you have to avoid on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, you know, I, I want you to see the uh, the rapes that you avoid from the sisters or whatever, you know, like that, like that needs to be shown. And I think that that would be an interesting punishment for sure. So uh, total, totally interesting. So um, it's, it's crazy to see, and there's someone, I'm begging the judicial system to please make an example out of one of these fuck faces because yeah. it needs to happen, it needs to happen soon.